Good day grade 8s. Welcome to another natural sciences lesson. Today, we will be focusing on testing for starch in food and leaves. In this lesson, students will engage experiments used for starch tests using iodine solution. Some emphasis will be placed on handling of equipment and chemicals to ensure safety and accuracy in testing procedures. You are expected to interpret test results, differentiating between positive and negative outcomes. Furthermore, we will explore the connection between the presence of starch in leaves and the essential process of photosynthesis in plants. Additionally, the lesson will highlight the practical applications of starch testing, emphasizing its relevance in quality control within food production processes. Enjoy the lesson! Many different foods contain starch and others do not. The iodine solution is used to test for the presence of starch in different foods. When a few drops of iodine solution are added to the food and the color of iodine changes from orange-brown to blue-black or purple. This is a positive test for starch. It indicates that starch is present in that food. If there is no starch present, the color of iodine does not change and it remains orange-brown. This is a negative test for starch. Do leaves produce starch when exposed to sunlight? To answer this question, a common experiment has been used to determine if leaves manufacture starch and if light is required for the manufacture of starch. In this experiment, two live plants are put in a dark cupboard with no light for 48 hours. During this period, the plant is not photosynthesizing or it's not producing any food. This causes the plant to use up any starch reserves that may have been in the leaves. One of the plants is then removed from the cupboard and allowed to sit in the light for 8 hours. After this, boiling water, alcohol, and iodine are used to test for starch in the leaves that were in the light and the leaves that were in the dark. The materials needed for this experiment are shown in the diagrams on the right. Take some time to identify these. To test for starch, a leaf is collected from a plant that has been exposed to sunlight. The leaf is then dipped in boiling water in a beaker for a brief period of about 5 minutes. But why should the leaf be boiled first before the starch test? Boiling water softens the leaves and helps to break down cell walls making it easier for subsequent chemicals to penetrate the leaf tissues. Plant cells have tough cell walls that have cellulose, which can block the penetration of iodine solution into plant cells and hinder our ability to detect starch within the cells. Boiling the leaf in water softens and weakens these cell walls, allowing the iodine to reach the starch more easily. After boiling briefly the leaf, the softened leaf is then put in a test tube with alcohol, which can be ethanol or methylated spirits. The alcohol in the test tube must completely cover the leaf. The test tube with the alcohol and the boiled leaf are then put in the glass beaker with water and heated gently. Alcohol is highly flammable and for safety reasons, alcohol should never be placed directly over an open flame. Boiling in alcohol removes chlorophyll and other pigments from the leaves. The alcohol dissolves chlorophyll and other pigments, leaving behind a translucent or almost colorless leaf. This makes it easy to observe blue-black color changes when starch combines with iodine. After heating in alcohol, the leaf is removed from the test tube and rinsed in warm water to remove excess alcohol. After rinsing, the leaf is placed in a petri dish on a white surface. A few drops of iodine solution are then added to the leaves and color changes observed. A blue-black color is a positive test for starch and it indicates the presence of starch in the leaves. If no color change is observed for the iodine, this is a negative test for starch. It suggests the absence of starch. The same procedure is used for leaves that were in a dark cupboard and leaves that were exposed to light. The results of using a leaf kept in the dark for 48 hours compared to a leaf that was exposed to light will likely show differences. These differences reflect the impact of photosynthesis, a process that occurs in the presence of light. 
the leaf kept in the dark for 48 hours is expected to have reduced or no starch, and no color changes will be observed for the iodine solution. Without light, photosynthesis cannot occur, leading to a decrease in the production of starch. For a leaf exposed to light you might expect it to contain starch, with the iodine solution turning blue-black. In the presence of light, the leaf undergoes photosynthesis. This process involves the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a carbohydrate that can be stored as starch. This experiment demonstrates the role of light in photosynthesis, the process by which plants produce their own food in the form of starch. The absence of light inhibits photosynthesis, leading to a reduced or lack of starch production in the dark exposed leaf. The starch test is a commonly used test to detect the presence of starch in a given substance. In the food industry, the starch test is used to ensure the quality of products. For example, it can be used to check for the presence of starch in certain food items, such as sauces, soups, and processed foods, to verify that they meet labeling requirements. Some products can be labeled starch-free and this can be verified using the iodine solution starch test. This brings us to the end of today's lesson on the starch test. I hope you enjoyed it and let's meet next time for more topics on natural sciences.